द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर रिलीज डेड गाइडलाइन ऑन मैनेजिंग द मंकी पॉक्स डिजीज ऑन फ्राइडे दिस कम्स अ डे आफ्टर इंडिया फर्स्ट कन्फर्म केस ऑफ मंकी पॉक्स वॉज रिकॉर्डेड इन केरला स्कूलम द गाइडलाइंस इंक्लूड द एपिडेमियोलॉजी ऑफ द डिजीज कॉन्टैक्ट एंड केस डेफिनेशन क्लिनिकल फीचर्स एंड इट्स कॉम्प्लिकेशन डायग्नोसिस केस मैनेजमेंट रिस्क कम्युनिकेशन एंड गाइडेंस ऑन इन्फेक्शन प्रिवेंशन एंड कंट्रोल द गाइडलाइन हाईलाइट सर्वेलियंस एंड रैपिड इन identification of new cases as the key public health measures for outbreak containment as per the guidelines contact should be monitored at least daily for the onset of signs and symptoms for 21 days as per case definition from the last contact with a patient or their contaminated materials during the infectious period Maharashtra Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis met Maharashtra Navinirman Sena Chief Raj Thakre in Mumbai on Friday. The meeting was taken place at a Shiv Tirtha Mr Thakre's residence at Dadar in central Mumbai. Mr Raj Thakre had last month undergone a hip replacement surgery at the Leelawati Hospital. This is Mr Fadnavis's first visit to Mr Thakre after the surgery. Earlier this month, Mr Thakre had written an open letter to Mr Fadnavis praising him for setting an example of party loyalty and commitment by taking over as a deputy chief minister of the state despite being front runner for the top post the meeting between the two leaders assumes significance given the upcoming civic body polls and the pending expansion of maharashtra cabinet led by eknath shinde digital media in india will be regulated and can face action for violation under an amended law that government plans to bring in the parliament session starting next week the law for the registration of media will for the first time include digital media which has never been defined by any law or any government regulation till now the information and broadcasting ministry which will be the administrative ministry has started the process to amend registration of press and periodical bill to include news on digital media through electronic device digital news publishers have to apply for registration and will be required to do so within 90 days of the law coming into effect The BJP today stepped up its attack on the Congress over ex-Vice President Hamid Ansari's alleged connection with Pakistani journalists and cited a photograph of both allegedly sharing stage during a conference in India. Pakistani journalist Nusrat Mirza has claimed that he had visited India five times during the UPA rule and passed on sensitive information collected here. to his country's spy agency ISI Nusrat Mirza allegedly said that he had visited India on Hamid Ansari's invitation and also met him Mr Ansari however has dismissed the charge as a litany of falsehood and said he never met or invited the journalist The Rajapaksa political family in Sri Lanka got further hemmed in today after Gotabaya Rajapaksa's resignation as president of Sri Lanka was formally announced the Supreme Court barred his two brothers former prime minister Mahinda Rajapaksa and former Fri- finance minister Basil Rajapaksa from leaving the country Gotabaya Rajapaksa has however already left earlier this week first for the Maldives onwards to Singapore Mahinda Rajapaksa resigned as PM only 2 months ago after his supporters attacked some people people protesting outside his brother the then president gotabaya rajapaksa's office the protests became more intense after that and finally gotabaya rajapaksa had to leave the country and resign his departure came after months of protests over mismanagement of island nation's economy leading to severe hardships of for its 2.2 crore people gotabaya has legally resigned with effects from yesterday speaker mahinda yappa abhay vardhana told reporters today 